guys, today we have NFL Imperialism. I haven't uploaded a video like this in six months. I did like a couple on this channel. I think I did one on my other channel and two on this channel a little while ago. But again, we're back. Let's get into NFL Imperialism. If you are new and you don't know how this works, pretty much how it works is I go ahead and spin a wheel, right? Whatever wheel it ends up being. And by the way, this is going to be the first team we're doing just to show off example. But this will be the first team. New Orleans Saints. So now that I have the Saints, I go ahead and spin this wheel. And this wheel will go ahead and point straight down. But if we look at the Saints and their location, straight down is not a location. So we got to spin it again. So now they're going to be playing. All right, so let's actually take a look at this. That's the Texans. You see, I was like that, that way, that's the Texans. So now they're going to have to play the Texans. Now this is the Texans. Both teams have updated rosters, updated everything. But let's go ahead and go over to this. Now, how this whole process works is that depending on who wins, that team gets to steal a player from the other team. So, for example, if the Texans win, they get to steal the best player that the best player that helps them out from the Saints and vice versa. And of course, they also claim the territory of the team that they won. So if a team, let's say, for example, the Saints lose this game, they could, in theory, also lose. They would lose their territory. So let's just see how this game goes. CJ Stroud, are you going to start off really good or really bad? All right, 14, 10, 14, 17, 21 to 17. It's a back and forth type of game right now going into halftime. Looks like the Texans take even more of a lead tied up right now going into the fourth quarter. The Saints are not giving up yet. And in the end, the Saints go ahead and lose. So what ends up happening now is the Texans will go ahead and get the Saints best player. That said player will be Marshawn Lattimore. So now the Texans will have Marshawn Lattimore moving forward along with the rest of their team. Now also, as you can see, the Texans now own the Saints territory and the Saints have been eliminated. So that's pretty much how the process works. And now we can go ahead and take off the Saints from our wheel spin. And now we have one less team. So 31 teams do remain. Let's go ahead and see our second team and who's going to get hit with this. It's going to be the New York Giants? Jets? It's the New York Jets. So the Jets are in a weird spot. They're right up here. The little area right here. So let's see where they're going to be headed because most likely they're going to be playing a team. They cannot go that direction, so we have to respin it. And they... I'm not going to let... Okay, no. They can't go that direction either. So, let's respin it. Alright. I'm going to call that the Giants. I'm going to call that the Giants territory. Um, straight up. This way. That's like the corner of the Giants. So, we are going to have a Giants versus Jets matchup here. Now, there isn't really a home field advantage for this one. Because they both play in the same stadium. MetLife Stadium. So, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like, we're eliminating one team here, but the other team will still technically be in it because the stadium. Yeah. So, let's see how this ends up going. Aaron Rodgers back for another year. Let's see if he can get the job done. And it's going to go ahead and be 7 nothing. Okay. Jets not able to really move the ball here. Um, okay, finally, they do take the lead. They take a lead 17-7 in the fourth quarter here. It's a back-and-forth game. Jets take even a bigger lead, and they win the game in the end here. And that's going to be Rodgers moving on and also getting the best option from the Giants. One sec. So the Jets are going to get Brian Burns, the brand-new signing. Oh, I see. Brand-new acquisition to, I believe, Trades. This offseason, they actually get Brian Burns, who just was um, sent over from Carolina. So, the Jets now own this little territory right here next to Philly, um, which is a very interesting area. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and spin it up right now and see how this ends up going out. It's going to go ahead and be the Dallas Cowboys. 
Yup, Cowboys. Where are the Cowboys headed? Are they going to be headed... Oh, well, they can't be headed south. There's no one south of them. Um... That is... Oh, that's a tough one. So that is, like, that direction, which I'm going to say is this area right here. Now, how does this work? Well, first off, if, they, if a team does hit the free space area... They are going to get some type of W here. So not only do they receive the space just like that. Um, let me also go ahead and put this in the Cowboys tier. I think it's all the way at the top here. Uh, right there. Okay, not only do they receive the actual space, they also are going to receive a plus one overall to their said quarterback. So if I go ahead and go to Cowboys here, and we go ahead and go all the way down to QB, Dak Prescott is going to receive a plus one overall. Now, I'm going to do this as basic Madden as possible, and by that, what I mean is I'm going to do the plus one to throw accuracy, and they're going to get every single quarterback stat plus one. They might end up getting a plus two overall, overall wise, or maybe it doesn't give them a plus one in the end. But that's what I'm kind of doing. Just giving a plus one across the board. Um, and that's kind of how I'm working at this. So this ends up being a plus two. Hopefully that makes sense. That's the EA Sports plus one mentality. So that's kind of how I'm going about this. Anyway, though, let's go to the next team. As the Cowboys just moved and took over... I believe it's Oklahoma. All right. Next team we have here is the Texans. Colts? Texans? Texans again. Okay. So where are the Texans headed? Um, Can they technically go down? They can technically not go down. That's not going to be an area. Okay. So they're headed. Ooh. We got a Cowboys-Texans game. Okay. So whoever wins this is about to win a lot of territory here. The battle for Texas. That's what this is going to end up being. And pretty much majority of the South. Like the middle South. That's what this ends up being. Because they got Oklahoma in there. They also got Louisiana. So that whole area right there now is completely taken care of. So let's see how this ends up going. 7-0, seven 7-3. Seven Cowboys up 10-3. Texans still trying to fight back here, but the Cowboys are a little bit too much. Cowboys take 13-3, 20-3. Texans not looking like they can defend, and they get destroyed in that game. 20-3, and CJ Stroud gets knocked out. Cowboys are going to be receiving Stefan Diggs as their brand new weapon. And not only that, this is now How About Them Cowboys logo. Hold up. Let me move that back and let me move that all the way up here. How About Them Cowboys? <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they took over a lot of space very quickly here. So let's re-spin it here, guys, and let's see how it goes. So we got a Patriots. It's going to be the Jets again. It's the Jets again. Jets, where are you headed? That's the question. You can't head to the right, Jets. I'm sorry. All right, so let's see. That is going to be Philadelphia. We got Philly versus the Jets. All right, let's see how this ends up turning out. I mean, New York, you could really take, you took over the Giants, and now you could take over another humongous landmass. Problem is, though, you still have to share that landmass with the Pittsburgh Steelers, so you can't fully take over, but you can take over as much as you want to here. But Jalen Hurts can also stop this from happening. So, 7-3 to three here, very low-scoring affair for both teams. And, I mean, are the Jets about to get Saquon Barkley? Uh, they don't really need Saquon. They have... Wow. It ends up like that. So they, they do have um, Brees Hall. So I wouldn't say they need Saquon Barkley. You know what? I think this might be fitting. Protect Aaron Rodgers. At all cost. So let's go ahead and take off the New York... I'm sorry, not New York. Take off the Philadelphia Eagles from this here. And now let's re-spin again and see who is next. So the next team on the docket. 
It's going to be the Chicago Bears or my Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Chicago by a tad little tiny bit. They're going to be going down. Okay, so where is down? Ooh, I'm going to say down. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. So this area right here will be going to Chicago here. So they're going to be kind of taking over a little bit of control here um, all the way around. I'm also going to be giving a plus one overall to Caleb Williams. So one second, guys. All right, so we got a plus one to Caleb Williams. He went from 78 to a 79 overall. And also, of course, he had they have that new location now. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and let's see what is going on next. We got the Minnesota Vikings or the New England Patriots. Okay, Patriots, where are you headed is the question. Because I think all the areas... Okay, so that's like this area. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give it to them. I'm going to give them the top area here. And also, they get a plus one to... I believe it's Jacoby Persets. So... Let's go ahead and just do that. Bam, bam, bam. Give them that location. Let me put it over here. And let's go ahead and add a plus one. All right, so Jacoby Presets got that plus one. They also got the territory. So let's go ahead and actually zoom out here. That's what our map's looking like currently. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel here. Bam, bam, bam. Who was next? Jeez. Raiders. Raiders. Alright, Raiders. You got some areas you can move. But you inst instead, you're going to go straight left. Which I'm going to say, is that like... Yeah, it's more like northern left. So I'm going to say 49ers. Raiders, Niners. Let's get it. Being that both teams haven't really done much... Oh, done anything at all in this video so far... I'm not expecting a too crazy of an outcome. Like, I'm expecting the Niners to win this game. I think a lot of people would be. Um, and again, this is because the... I mean, if like... Let's say, for example, hypothetically speaking, the Raiders did have a lot of the free space they could take up. If they got a lot of that free space, I think they could have won this game. But because they didn't... Uh, I mean, they're fighting. You gotta give the Raiders props here. They're actually making this a game. Okay, maybe not. Well, they were at one point making this a game. I like to say that. Like, at one point, this was a game. So... I don't know why Gardner Minshew was not the starter, but... Anyway, though, Aiden O'Connell. I think Gardner Minshew would have done anything better, but... Let's go ahead and see who they're gonna steal. Yeah, like, I actually don't know why. Like, Gardner Minshew is on the roster. I don't know why he was the backup, but... Ooh! Here's the thing, though. 49ers, do you pair up Mad Max Crosby with Nick Boza? The problem is, I mean, you'd have to play them different positions, but we could do that. Because Leonard Floyd's nice, but Leonard Floyd is no... Mad Max Crosby. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually make Crosby a right end. And then we'll have Boza play left end. So I think in real life, I, th I thought we thought Nick Boza was a right end though. I don't know. Anyway though, Mad Max Crosby. So now going back to this area, the 49ers now own all of this area right here. Also, the Raiders have been eliminated, so one more team off the board. And our next team is going to be Seattle. All right, so Seattle is in a weird spot. No matter where they go, they're literally going to get a plus one overall. So let's just see where they head. Um, They're going to be, okay, right here. So again, like I said, no matter where they went, they were going to get a plus one. They're kind of like a team that, in a way, has a freebie, unless they didn't get spun. The only way Seattle takes an L here is if they don't actually get a spin. And then, technically speaking, another team could come in, steal all the territory, and then beat Seattle. But because they did get this, they're going to get a plus one. Alright, so Geno Smith got that plus one. And now we're back to this, the wheel spin. 
Let's see who's next. Who is the next team on the docket? And it's going to be... Kansas City. LA. The Chargers. All right, Chargers. You're kind of surrounded here. So you either going to have to play the Chargers... I'm sorry, the Rams, the Niners, or the Cardinals. There's no getting out of this one. And... Um... So, wait, hold up, hold up. Like, this way. I'm, I'm going to say the Niners, because it's that little end part right here. It's almost the Cardinals, but it's like that. So, I'm going to put it as the Niners. So, they're going to play the Niners. I mean, in theory, we could have one of our biggest upsets so far this video. If the Chargers come out here and actually get the job done, this would be a humongous upset. And they would control a lot of territory. So, hey, listen, anything is possible. They are also playing at home in SoFi. Maybe that helps them out a tad bit. I don't know. I mean, when you got Mad Max Crosby on one side and the other side is Nick Boza, it's really hard to lose that game. <laughs> but actually, you know what? The Chargers are fighting. They're not doing a great job. No, no, no. They're making this a close game. And, uh, okay. 49ers win. Let's see how this turns out. So, the 49ers have a really good strong safety. But, I was thinking Derwin James could help them at the free safety position. Potentially. Alright, so now the Niners are just kind of enjoying the LA Rams style. And if we get the Rams, they're going to have to go against the Niners. No matter what. There's no one else they could fight. And are we going to get the Rams? We are not. We're going to get the Atlanta Falcons. So, Falcons, an interesting spot. They could either go down and be against the Jags. Left is free. Right is free. But anything above is going to be a team. So, they're going to... Straight down. That's going to be the Jaguars. Alright, so we got Kirko Cousins. Versus Trevor Lawrence. Trevor just got paid crazy money. Kirko got paid in the offseason. It's the battle of very deep pockets. And I don't know who's going to win this game. This actually really is a toss-up type of game. Both these teams evenly could lose this game. And it looks like Kirko scores first. Jacksonville is trying to do something. Um, and they get a safety. That's our first safety of the video. And so far, Jacksonville's not able to do much. Okay, they somewhat come back in this game. Fully come back in this game. And Jacksonville's going to win. I did not expect that. Kirk Cousins couldn't get the job done. You know, every being in my soul wanted me to have the Falcons straight away. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> But that's not how this works. So anyway, Jesse Bates is now a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's just go ahead and get right into this. So Jacksonville now takes over this area right here. And we are now going into our next team as Atlanta has been eliminated from the game. So our next team is Tampa Bay. All right, Bucks, you can either go up or down. If you go up... You're really taking over a lot of territory if you win. Um, I'm going to have that. Jacksonville versus Tampa Bay. So, no matter what way you look at this, is this going to come down to Miami getting absolutely royally fluffed? Because Miami has to now deal with the fact that one of these two teams is going to control all of Florida and a little bit higher up into Atlanta. So, yeah. Now, Jacksonville obviously got Jesse Bates, so they got themselves a little bit better on defense. But let's see if that really matters for their offense. Because their offense was very sluggish last game, even though they won. And they won again. They won again. The Baker Mayfield Express, Express couldn't get the job done. Did someone ask for a franchise left tackle? That's right, Jacksonville. You got yourself a franchise left tackle. And you also are now scaring the crap out of the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> Miami sits down there. 
comp just thinking about life. Like, why are we all the way down here at the bottom? All right, next team on the board. Who's the next team on the docket here? Chicago again. Okay, so Chicago, I don't think you're going to be able to get away with a free space here. You might be able to. Holy crap. Um, You did. Okay. So it's a little bit more downward, so I'm going to give them the bottom free space here. But, yeah, no, Chicago is really taking advantage of this whole we don't have to play anyone, but we're able to get a plus one to Caleb Williams. And I guess as long as you're able to continue to build up Caleb Williams... <laughs> Maybe not having to play anyone can give you a win. All right, Chicago, you can't keep doing this, though, with Caleb Williams. At some point, you got to start playing somebody and potentially losing. But they actually do have a good roster, in all honesty. But the point of this game is you want to stack up your roster against other people. All right, so potentially we might see our first Chicago matchup here. Um, Cincinnati, no. Bro, that's that's amazing. They are literally going straight down here. So this area now is taken up by Cincinnati. So we have another way to avoid contact. But again, we do have all these like areas we need eaten up anyway. So one sec. And Shiesty has been upgraded. All right. So next team. Let's go ahead and keep it rocky. Keep it rolling. Who's the next team on the docket? Denver? All right, the Broncos untouched so far today. They could either go up, back. I mean, literally, the only spot they have to play is going to be the Chiefs. If they get bottom right like this, I'm giving them the Cowboys. They're going to play the Cowboys if they get that spot. Oh, that is, that is so close. Wait, let me see. It's like more like this. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give them the Cowboys. It's very close to the Chiefs. It's like that bottom right hand corner. Oh, that's that's so debatable. Let me see. It's like Where do I hit first? I hit the okay, I'm giving the Chiefs. Never mind. No, I feel like I gotta get the Cowboys. I mean, if you're looking from this, right, it's the Cowboys. It's definitely the Cowboys. The only savior right now for the Cowboys is, I'm sorry, the only savior for the Broncos is Zach Wilson. If Zach Wilson can win this game, he can give the Broncos humongous territory to work with moving forward. Also, a huge upgrade to the squad, which, yeah, let's just see who, it is, who ends up winning this game. Cowboys up 7-0. Cowboys up 14-0. Cowboys up 20... Oh, okay, I thought they were going to be up 21-0. 21 21-0 um, as well here. Uh, yeah, Zach Wilson might not be the best option to uh, hang your hat on. I mean, he came back in the end a little bit. Like, it, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but eh. Didn't work out too well. Why not just add even more pieces to that Cowboys secondary? Patrick Sertain the second. Now a cowboy. All right, so cowboys. See, this is a problem because if you just kind of chill and relax the whole entire game and you don't get, you know, attacked or selected, you're actually hurting yourself in the end because you're eventually going to have to play somebody and you're going to end up playing someone who's a, a juggernaut. So it's not going to work out for you if you just kind of sit back and do nothing. All right, so the Browns. Um... Yeah, I'm going to say Steelers. Steelers, Browns, football. Let's go, baby. So we got Russell Wilson versus Deshaun Watson in the battle of the ages. Because whoever goes out and wins this game is going to be sharing a state, technically, or an area against the Jets. So the Jets are currently still in this contest and still have a chance here. 7 nothing. It's 7-3. 14 to 3, Cleveland taking control. 14 to 10, 21 to 10. Cleveland is just dominating, but the Steelers are coming back. Russell Wilson showing some longevity, but not able to finish off the job. 
as his Browns win 27-24 in Russell Wilson. Ugh. I think we're going to have to see a Deshaun, I mean, a Miles Garrett, TJ Watt combo here. Something I never want to see. TJ Watt over there in Cleveland. And right now, we have the Browns taking over a lot of land right there. So let's go ahead and take out the Pittsburgh Squealers. They're out of this contest. So now we have a wheel spin here, and let's see who's next. Seattle, Tennessee. Tennessee has not been doing anything this game so far. First time they're selected. And they're going to go right and right it is. Ooh. No, no, no. I'm going to say Carolina. They're playing Carolina. So Tennessee kind of lucked in here because they get to play a team in Carolina that has not been selected yet. So they now are able to actually go back and forth and not go against a juggernaut team which would be absolutely horrendous to go against. So, you know, they kind of got lucky here. I mean, in their spot, Chicago would have been the only other team, or Jacksonville. Jacksonville is a little bit of juggernaut at this point. But I guess Chicago isn't really at all. They've been just getting the plus ones to Caleb Williams. Like, that's been their whole thing so far, just adding plus ones to Caleb Williams. But so far, Bryce Young versus Will Levis. No Derrick Henry on the Titans. They now have Tony Pollard. And Bryce Young wins. Wow. Okay. So I'm trading away LeJarrius Knee for Lamar Jackson. That is an interesting thing to say out loud. Anyway, though, Carolina now completely controls this area right here. So shout out to them for that. But let's go ahead and do our next wheel spin. Who is next on the docket? Here is the question. Next team, Washington, Arizona. All right, Cardinals, um, you're in a weird spot because you can go up or right. And if you go either of the spots, you get a free plus one to your quarterback. So let's see. And they're going... Wait, hold up. So they're going up. They're playing the Cowboys. There is no way. Hold up. That's that's that. Guys. That is that. That's the Cowboys. There there is you had so many chances not to play the Cowboys. I'm not saying it's impossible, okay? I've seen crazier things I feel like than this happening. But Cardinals, you could really take a huge W here if you can get all this area, okay? If you can get all this territory, it's going to be a huge W for you to knock off the Cowboys. But that's also very challenging to do because they've been stacking up great players throughout this whole entire video. 7-7, seven, seven, Kyler Murray's not giving up. And just like the Cowboys usually do, they just take a 28-7 to lead and continue down the load. <laughs> yeah. It's harder. The Cowboys are a great team already. And then you just added so many great players to them. I mean, the Cardinals tried in the end, man. They tried. They failed. And Buda Baker is over there in Dallas. And Dallas also has now this little strange area over here. So now Dallas, other than Kansas City, they can find themselves just pretty much chilling if they get selected. But next one on the docket here, let's see. It is Baltimore, Buffalo. All right, Bills, where are you headed? Because you could actually not have to play anyone here. Um. All right, I'm going to say this area right here. Bills, you get a free little freebie here, and Josh Allen gets a plus one out of, you know, pure W here for the Bills. But let me give a plus one to Josh Allen. Josh Allen is a tad bit better now. So the Bills also have this little area right now. New England's kind of chilling over here, trying to avoid people, trying to avoid being selected. We'll see how that ends up working out for them. As our next team is Chicago. Cincinnati? Nope, it is Chicago. Chicago, uh, how much have you boosted up Caleb Williams? Because now you are going straight down. 
And oh, that's a that's a question. Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna executive here. I'm gonna say Carolina. I'm gonna say Carolina. It could be Indianapolis, cause again, but I'm gonna say Carolina, cause it's like that little area right here that they pass through with that arrow. So Carolina it is. All right, let's see how this ends up going out. Panthers really surprised me by being the Titans. So. I guess anything is possible here. We still have a lot of free spaces left. Usually, last time I did this video, all these free spaces, for the most part, get, kept getting used up right away. And then we got into the actual other games. But there was a lot of free spaces that got used up right away. This game, not at all. Like, a lot of the free spaces are not getting used up. So, it's, it's pretty much back and forth. But, let's see. This game is so freaking bad. I mean, it's a high-scoring affair in the end, but that was such a sluggish game. Carolina lose to Caleb Williams. I guess I'm not surprised. I didn't expect the Titans to lose to the Panthers, so I guess that's a thing. But nonetheless, though, Legereus Snead went from Tennessee. He went from KC this offseason to Tennessee, now to Carolina, and now to Chicago. And Chicago, I guess they're bulk showing up that whole Caleb Williams sweepstakes because they are just kind of icing around the cake there. Who's next? The Jets? The 49ers by a hair. That is an absolute hair right there. 49ers. And the 49ers are going down. That's the Rams. Rams, Niners. This could potentially become our second super team of this video if the Niners can win this game. If the Rams win, I mean, they now take control of pretty much the whole West Coast outside the Seahawks. So that would be a huge win for them. But when you have Mad Max Crosby on one side, Nick Boza on the other side, it's really hard to think that the Rams are going to win this game. Ugh, that's a very difficult one-two punch. And so far, that one-two punch is very clear. Yeah. Kind of what I expected for the most part. 38-10, to 38-17, 41-17. GG. Well, the Rams don't have Aaron Donald anymore. So, it's not like the 49ers can get Aaron Donald. And Cooper Cup is headed to San Francisco. Alright, so here's what it looks like now for that San Francisco Empire going on over there. But let's see who the next team is up as we are now dwindling down teams. Left Baltimore still has not been selected yet. And this time the Jets will get selected. So Jets, who, what are you going to do here? Are you going to take over Pennsylvania? They're going to go down. Okay, so we got to be very clear with this one. All right, so this one is, it's like, I'm going to say Baltimore. I'm going to say Baltimore. With the angle, I'm going to say it's Baltimore here. All right, we got the Jets versus the Ravens. Now, keep in mind, the Ravens do have Derrick Henry now. But the Jets have a couple new additions after all the new, you know, teams they beat this video so far. They beat like two teams, but... So far, the Ravens are just dominating this game. 14-7 to now. Jets came back a little bit. Ravens take a 17-7 lead. They take a 24-7 lead. They take a 31-7 lead. And the Jets uh, in MetLife Stadium not looking too hot. And they will, in the end here, lose by 14 points. So Derrick Henry led Ravens a little bit too much. And Sauce Gardner is heading to Baltimore. All right. So, now this is what the Ravens Empire looks like. A little bit of a weird transition there. But let's go ahead and get right into our next one. And it is Indianapolis. Jacksonville. Indianapolis. Okay, Indy. Where are you headed? That is the question. Okay, so you are headed. And that's going to be Chicago. Chicago versus the Colts. So far, 15 teams have been knocked out of this game. 15 so far. So let's just see how the rest of this goes. We got Colts versus Bears here. 
So it should be interesting. We got Caleb Williams versus Anthony Richardson. So, ugh. All right, three nothing here. Three three here. <laughs> Why is this game so awful? Six to three. Ten to six. Okay. Chicago takes the lead again, and then we have another lead change, and another lead change, and another lead change, and in the end, Chicago loses. So the Colts literally one win, first win in the video, and they take all over Chicago. This video is literally just LeJarrius Sneed going to every new team possible. He is now on his like fifth new team this video. And the Colts, yeah, that's the Colts now. Um, first time selected this video, and they, uh, get to take over a whole entire plot of land. So, next team on the docket. It's gonna be, is it the Colts again? It's the Colts again. The Colts again. So, apparently the Colts now are just popular. And they're going top right. Hold up. I'm going to say that's Cincinnati. Because if you look at like this, that's Cincinnati there. Another team in Cincinnati who really hasn't been selected much at all. Selected only two times today. Actually, no, one time today. And the one time they got selected, they didn't even have to play anybody. So, I guess now they get their first chance to actually go head-to-head -head with somebody here. And Cincinnati takes an early 7-0 lead. Uh, Colts trying to power back, but looks like they're not going to be able to. 14 nothing here, 21 nothing here. Anthony Richardson not getting the job done. 28 nothing, 28 to seven. Uh, Colts trying to fight back. Down 14 now, going to be down 21 points, and Cincinnati is going to win, and they're going to take over all that territory the Colts just got. I feel like it's only fitting if Legarius need go to the Bengals at this point. But if you guys saw my last um, imperialism video, this is exactly how it went. Cincinnati went ahead and took over all a huge plot of land at the end of the game and really just dominated and ended up winning because they had that huge plot of land. So, so far, Cincinnati looking pretty good in this as they now have been very quiet the whole entire game, but now have taken over. So let's see our next one. Seattle? It is Seattle. Seattle's in an interesting spot because if they go down. Yeah, actually, really, they're not going to be. It's it's free plot pod um free land no matter what. Okay, can't go up. Can only go down, buddy. Can't go up. Actually, yeah. No, can't go those locations. Okay. So technically, okay, you know I'm just gonna say. Pew! First land is here. They're gonna, I'm going to give them this one. That's technically the first land that pops up when I go that direction. Alright, so now Seattle has themselves a little bit more land. And also, we're going to add a plus one overall to Geno Smith. Geno Smith looks a little bit happier today. Alright, I don't know why I hit stop recording for a second. But anyway, Seattle, you are still alive as you were just getting free land at this point next team baltimore buffalo it is buffalo okay buffalo where are you headed who are you gonna be playing against and you're going right to your right hand side and that is new england a team who has really owned buffalo for so long was new england and now they get to play them in the imperialism video so, let's just see how this goes. New England, you have your chance here to take over a lot of land. Again, anything is possible in these videos. 7-0, 14-0, 14-3, 17-3. Okay, New England's fighting back with Jacoby Prissett's. Okay, I mean, 24-13. It is a 8-point ball game, but it looks like Buffalo's not getting stopped, and they will win. So, Buffalo wins it in the end here over Jacoby Prissett. So Matthew Judon is heading over to the Buffalo Bills. So now Buffalo has this little area in the top right-hand corner. So kind of controlling that top right-hand corner right there. The Patriots have been eliminated from the contest. Who's next? Minnesota. 
Another team that has not been selected yet today. So been very quiet so far for Minnesota. And they're going straight down. And actually, ironically enough, I'm going to give it to them down here. Give them a free space. We got to get rid of some of these free spaces. <laughs> we are now rocking way too many free spaces this late in the game. And usually these free spaces are early on types of Ws. All right, so I went ahead and added a plus one overall to Sam Donald, who is currently their starting quarterback. I know they're not going J.J. McCarthy, but to be honest, I don't think that's really that bad of an idea because he get able to, you know, actually develop and learn. Anyway, though, next team, Washington, another team that has not been selected today so far. And where is Washington headed? That's the question. They're going to be headed west. Um, I'm going to say Baltimore. I mean, that's the only real team they can play other than going east. So, yeah, Washington, you're going to play Baltimore. That's how this is going to work. Two very not even teams. You got to love to see it. Now, if Baltimore wins this. They're going to get a player steal. But in all honesty, they're not going to get much. Like the land that Washington has right now is very small. Now, if Washington wins this, they're going to get a lot of land. Now, it looks like Marcus Mariota is going to be starting today for the Commanders. Uh, for some reason, Jaden Daniels is not. So, let's see if that even matters. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to matter at all. As so far, Baltimore is winning the Battle of the Beltway. But the Washington Commanders with the comeback, and they still lose. So, it doesn't matter in the end. Finally, the commies get selected. And it's over. And that's all she wrote. Baltimore now has the whole entire Maryland and D.C. area under control. All right. So let's see. Next team. Who is uh, actually wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Got to respin that because I did not remove the commies. I thought I removed the commies. I did not remove the commies. So the respin must happen. Thank you. There we go. I thought I removed them, but didn't by accident. All right. This time, it was Miami, but because the, you know, illegitimate of the spin didn't count. The Lions, another team who has not been selected so far in this video. All right. They're going to head to the right. There's no one on the right-hand side, so can't technically move that way. They're going to be going downward. It's a little bit farther to the right than the left. I'm going to say the Brownies. It's the Brownies. All right, depending on how this goes, this will take us down to 12 teams left in this game today. So very closing in now for a lot of free spaces left, but a lot of teams as well still left. So we're going to have like a run on free spaces and just plus one the quarterbacks at the end here. Again, usually we get that at the beginning of the game. Today, it looks like we're going to get that at the end of the game. So... Let's see what ends up happening, though. The Browns trying to fight here. 14-7. 17-7. Cleveland is up. Up by 7. Detroit trying to hold on here. 17 all. The Browns are being the Browns, as always, and trying to choke away a win. But in the end, it looks like the Browns get the W and take it over Detroit. Another wide receiver for Deshaun Watson to throw the ball to. All right. So let's take a look. So now Cleveland's territory all right here. Interesting. Next wheel spin. Who is up? We have 12 teams left in this game today. Dallas, Green Bay. Okay, we have not... Have we had Green Bay at all today? I don't think we've had Green Bay one time today. This might be, is it, this might be the last team. And that's going straight down. I'm going to say Cincinnati, they're going to play here. But is this the last? No, KC has not been selected either. So KC hasn't been selected, Miami hasn't been selected, and now Green Bay. But now Green Bay is on the docket. All right, let's get right into it. Packers, Bengals. I mean, the Packers could do, again, something very insane here, which is take over a huge plot of land. Now, the Bengals haven't had too many teams that they have really taken players from so far. So it's really anyone's game here. But 7 nothing pa uh, Bengals. And so far, 7-7. Seven seven, tied 14-7. Packers winning. 
Bengals make it 10 to 14. Bengals trying to come back in this game. They do. 17, 21 to 14 here, but the Packers are not giving up. Jordan Love is trying, and Jordan Love fails on the flop. I could go with you here, Alexander, as the guy for the Bengals. I think going with Eldon Jenkins, though, is a better move. Get rid of that Cordell Volson problem, and you got yourself a really big W. So now Cincinnati leads right there. So let's see who is next on the docket after Green Bay got eliminated. And it's going to be Seattle, maybe Baltimore. Seahawks. Okay, Seahawks, you are still in that weird spot where you have a lot of free land. And you're going this way. So they're going to just take over another plot of land here. Geno Smith will get that plus one. And that's going to continue their little reign of area here. So let me get a plus one to Geno. All right, there you go, Seattle. Kind of taking control of that top part. Um, let's go ahead, though, and respin this because Seattle just taking over their free land as always. Seattle, not again. This time it is Baltimore. So Baltimore kind of in that weird area now because they have a lot of teams around them. So they could go straight down here. If they get straight down, I will give them the free land right here. Um, but so far, they have not been able to claim any free land. Ooh. I'm going to give that to, I'm going to say Cleveland. I'm going to say that's Cleveland. Right here, uh, let's, yeah, it's like that corner. It's almost Cincinnati or almost free land. But I'm going to say that's Cleveland, right? Keep in mind, the Browns have the Sean, um, it's Sean Watson. Yeah, that doesn't even matter. They got TJ Watt and they got Miles Garrett. Just keep that in mind. Like, those are two really overpowered players. Um, Now, Baltimore does have Derrick Henry, but again, Cleveland you know, they beat Pittsburgh, and taking Pittsburgh's best player was very helpful for them. So let's see what they can do in this game. It is in Baltimore, so it's a little bit of home field advantage for the Ravens here. But it is 7-7 here for the Brownies. 10-7, 17-7. Ravens taking a 24-31-7 uh, lead before halftime here. Can the Brownies make a comeback? And they do. But the Ravens still scoring at ease in this game so far. Browns have a really long drive that goes for nothing, and they are knocked out of this contest. That means Baltimore is either going to get TJ Wild or Miles Garrett. And just like that, Miles Garrett is headed to Baltimore. So now Baltimore controlling a lot of that right hand side. Buffalo still in there as well. But we are now cracking down on a lot of teams, and the only teams left to not be touched so far is Miami and Kansas City. So two teams here who still have a chance to fight. And Seattle is going to be hit again. And looks like Seattle, where are you going, Seattle? You're getting your last free territory spot. You can't go up. That's the C. Well, actually, that's kind of Canada. Um, no, you can't go that direction. Nope, can't go that direction, Seattle. Uh, I'll give them this spot over here. At this point, why not? There's only so much free land left for you, Seattle, but I do have to now give Geno Smith a plus one upgrade. All right, there we go. And Seattle, let me actually... You're taking those plus one upgrades like insane amounts when you don't even have to play anybody. It's pretty nice, I guess. But let's just see who's next. Next team on the docket, Miami... Now it's Minnesota. Minnesota also has... Minnesota has been hit one time. So they've had the fight one time at least. But they are going to be going downward here. And I'm going to say this area right here. So going to give them this free plot of land. And also um, Sam Donald gets the plus one upgrade as well. So one second, guys. All right. So Minnesota getting a little bit of an upgrade right there to Sam Donald. Let's see what is going on here, though. Kansas City, Miami. Is Miami finally going to get hit? Minnesota almost got hit again. All right, so Miami, you got a bad situation for you. 
you have to play Jacksonville no matter what. You can't get a free pot of land. You can't pass go. Can't collect two hundred dollars. You gotta play Jacksonville. So after this game, we will have nine teams left, with still again a lot of free spaces available. So we're just gonna get to a point where potentially one of these times there's just a lot of free space spins, but at the same times maybe not because Seattle can play San Francisco at any time. They could also play Dallas. They could also, in theory, play Minnesota. So anything's really possible at the end of the day. And I don't know why I went ahead and actually... Okay, I got to do the kickoff. I meant to hit Super Sim. Did not mean to do this, but whatever. I'm not going to waste one timeout, though, because I don't want one timeout to affect the game. So I'll just let the kickoff go, and now we'll get right into this. So pause it, Super Sim, and let's get it, boys. So after this game, nine teams left. Who will be one of the nine remaining competitors 14 nothing so far for jacksonville they're gonna take a 21 nothing lead 24 nothing lead miami has zero fighting back at this moment in time they scored three points but that's not gonna help them much at all jacksonville gets the w and they control florida now now tyree kill is going to the jaguars that's interesting all right with that being said now jacksonville owns this whole area down here so, very nice for them. Who is next? Who's the next team on the docket? One out of nine teams left. Kansas City. Come on, Kansas City. Don't let it go all the way. Kansas City finally gets selected. This is the first time this game so far. And they're going down and left. They're going to play the Cowboys. They're going to play the Cowboys. All right, let's see how this goes. For a team that has not been touched one time this video. Finally getting into an actual fight. And let's see if they have the manpower to get the job done. The Cowboys have been stacking up so many great players throughout this video. They've been stacking up options. And they also have a lot of free spaces around them. That If they can win this, they can help, them out, self, uh, help themselves out greatly. 7-0 Cowboys, 10-0 Cowboys, 17-0 Cowboys, 17 7 seven. Yeah, this is what the Cowboys have done this whole entire video so far. Every time they play someone, they just dominate them so much very quickly that the other team has no chance to come back and do anything. And it looks like Mahomes was not able to get the job done. And the Cowboys will be receiving none other than Travis freaking Kelsey. Yeah, Cowboys are so stacked. And now there's eight teams. Eight teams left in this video. And only one of eight can do something here. Jacksonville, it's Minnesota. Minnesota again. All right, Minnesota. Who are you fighting? You're going... No, they're not fighting nobody. They're getting a Sam Donald upgrade because they're getting some free territory right here. So very nice by Minnesota to kind of bail themselves out of this situation and not to fight anybody. Let me give a plus one to Sam Dalton, guys, one sec. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Next team on the docket, the 49ers. Ah, Seattle. All right, Seattle. There's not many more territories you can get for free. You can't go up. You can't go to Canada. Nope. Can't go to the Canada, buddy. All right. Hold up. That's Minnesota. Seattle Seahawks versus Minnesota. In the end here, one of these two teams is going to own all of this top part of America. What's weird in all this is Minnesota and Seattle are two teams this whole entire video who have done nothing but take took free like have taken free plots of land and been able to upgrade their quarterbacks and two teams that have not had to fight anyone now have to fight each other this is like almost poetic you know the two outcasts now have to fight each other all right well controller chillax there we go all right so seven nothing seven seven ball game so far ten to seven uh, 10 to 10. This is like such an even back and forth game. This is like the perfect game for two teams that have not done anything the whole entire video. It's like now it's just a very back and forth, very simplistic game. And Minnesota wins. 
Wow. Okay. All right. And Woolen is going to the Vikings. So now we got the next team on the docket here. And by the way, in case you're wondering, what we're going to look at it in a second here. 49ers, Ravens. Ravens are up. Let's see where the Ravens are headed. But yeah, Minnesota now owns this whole top part. But now let's see where the Ravens are headed. Ravens are going to be headed toward the Bengals. Ravens, Bengals here, guys. All right, let's see how this ends up working out. Baltimore, if Cincinnati wins this, they will take over. Pretty much the whole right side, except for where Buffalo is. And Baltimore could take over the whole, pretty much middle part of America here. So this is a huge win for either side here. And we'll take us down to seven teams left, depending on how this outcome goes. So let's just see how this goes. Baltimore, Cincinnati, in Baltimore. And so far, 7-0 Bengals, 14-0, 21-0 Bengals. You would be hard-pressed to think that the Ravens added so many players. Um, yeah, like the Ravens added so many players throughout this video. I am very surprised how the Bengals just blew them out. But, okay, Bengals won. You know, it's funny. It's like, this is why I selected um, Jenkins, Elton Jenkins, as the player for the Bengals last time they were up. Because I said, if you protect Joe Burrow, right, after adding Trent Brown and you got Kappa, you got Teddy K, you got Linda Brown, look how he does versus the Ravens. And now the Bengals get Miles Garrett as well. All right, so now Cincinnati controls this whole area right here. So very interesting. And we are now into our next team. Let's see who that ends up being, though. Next team on the docket, Minnesota. San Francisco, Minnesota barely holds on to that. Where is Minnesota headed? That's the question. They're headed. Uh, that's not really a team. I'm going to call that a nullified. Now they're headed that way. All right, I'll say Cincinnati just because the fact they're going this way. Cincinnati. So now Cincinnati has a huge chance here to take over majority of the board and pretty much control this game if they can win here in this one. Again, last time I did this, the Bengals won it in the end, uh, but it was literally, they were not selected until I think like the almost the last team available. And they just beat, I think it was the Cowboys again, ironically enough, and won it all. And it was like the three teams left, which is possible, right? This is why this video, this whole entire game is so crazy is anything is possible. A team could not be selected the whole entire game, get selected at the very end and be the team that wins it all. And Minnesota, a team that has not really done much this video other than get plus one upgrades. That's definitely a team that, you know, it's in a weird situation, but... So far, Minnesota is fighting back in this game, and they win. Wow. Minnesota with Sam Donald knocks off the Cincinnati Bengals. Talk about an upset alert. You know, I would give Joe Burrow to the Vikings, but I don't know if the Vikings need Joe Burrow because so far what we saw in that last game was the Vikings actually... Got the job done with Sam Donald, and they're getting the job done very well with Sam Donald. All right, so now here's the kicker, okay? I'm going to start filling in some of these blank spaces, okay? Mainly because there's a lot of blank spaces left, and this is going to become just over and over again teams getting blank spaces. So I'm going to give the plus ones where plus ones are due, and I'll be right back, guys, one sec. All right, in the end here, I just gave everyone a plus three overall um, to all their starting quarterbacks. And the reason why is because I kind of want to make this fair across the board. Everyone's getting new plots of land. Everyone's here. We got four teams left, okay? Everyone gets a plus three to the quarterback. So, one, two, three. Wait, who is eliminated? That is five teams. Guys, I have been doing this video for four hours now. Actually, more than four hours, so. I apologize. Apparently, I'm just absolutely do not, cannot count. That was five teams. Okay. 
Well, Jacksonville's up, and who is Jacksonville going to play? That is the question. They're going to play to the left-hand side, which is the Dallas Cowboys. All right, so we're about to find out who's going to control the bottom part of the United States. Buffalo is just up there in their own little corner, just trying to chill and get away from everybody. And now you have all these other teams that are coming out of nowhere and just being like, nah. Like, <laughs> we're about to absolutely smash you in the mouth. But you know what? They still got Josh Allen, so anything's possible. Cowboys starting off this game 7-0, 7-7 seven seven here, 14-7. Jacksonville fighting back in this game. And so far, Dallas usually takes a really high-scoring lead throughout this game. But are they going to choke in the clutch is the question. And so far, there's no way. The Dallas Cowboys choked. They had this whole entire game under control. This whole entire thing under control. And they choked in the clutch. That is typical Cowboys. And now, Travis Kelsey belongs to the Jaguars. And... Jacksonville now controls the whole south part of America. All right, so Jacksonville, you remain, but Dallas, you are gone. We have four teams left, boys. Who will win it all for this imperialism video? Buffalo! And guess what, Buffalo? You can only play Baltimore, so you only have one choice here. I just said Buffalo. I, I just said Baltimore. I meant Minnesota. You have to play Minnesota. There is no more Ravens. They got knocked out. So they got knocked out by the um, by the Bengals. So you have to play the Vikings here. And if Buffalo wins this, they will have taken the most land of any team in this video so far. But if they lose this, well, then Minnesota just controls that little bit of land on the right-hand side and... They're just taking the huge, massive freaking W. But it's more interesting the other way around, okay? Buffalo takes it over, over the whole thing. All right, 7-0, 14-0. Buffalo, fight back. These are both teams, Buffalo Bills and the Vikings, who have lost four Super Bowls. Both of them have. So this is uh, a, a lot of losing between both teams. But it looks like Minnesota wins the game this time. And they're going to take that 40 to 7 win. Now, Minnesota will have Miles Garrett and Von Miller on either side. And then there was three the 49ers, the Jags, and the Vikings. Lordy, 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 Lordy. Final is Minnesota. And they technically, okay, so I'm going to say if they go south. Then they're playing the Jags. If they go kind of west-ish, then they're playing the 49ers. That's definitely the Jags. And after this, we will have two teams left. The 49ers and the winner of this game today. So let's see who the 49ers will be playing for the final win of this imperialism video. 49ers are going to be playing. Survey says... Okay, 7-3, 14-3. Minnesota's trying to hold on here, trying to get the W, but Jacksonville's getting the job done. Okay, Minnesota making it closer, but looks like Jacksonville might have it, and Jacksonville will be playing the 49ers, but not before one more player steal. The finer rosters of both teams. By the way, this is what the map looks like in the end, guys. This is what the map looks like in the end. The 49ers still controlling that little pot of land on the left-hand side. But Jacksonville controlling everything else. So Jacksonville has Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Jesse Bates, Tristan Wirfs, Josh Allen, Foisada Luakon, Travis Etienne, Evan Ingram, Christian Kirk, Brandon Sheriff, Gabe Davis, Tyson Anderson, uh, Tyson Campbell, Trevor Lawrence, Mitch Morris, Devin Lloyd, and so on and so on. While the other opposition here has Christian McCaffrey, Trent Williams, Mad Max Crosby, Nick Boza, George Kittle, Fred Warner, 
Not many players did they steal. They did take Derwin James, though. That's another guy. They also got Cooper Cup throughout this video. So again, some players, not too, too many. Not to a point where I would say it's that crazy. Let's do one last. Uh, go ahead and do depth chart revamp tier. Just to get the best rosters down. And it's time to see who wins this video. Honestly, I think this is such a tall stuff. I don't know who's going to win this. It's such a tall stuff who's going to win this. I want to say it's the 49ers just because the 49ers, you know, they're the 49ers, man. Like, that's pretty much all I can say. But Jacksonville has so many good players right now. They have so many superstars, so many playmakers. It's hard to even fathom them not winning this all. But, hey, anything is possible right now. So let's just see. Bam, bam, bam. 49ers, Jags, in Jacksonville. And the final game. It's going to be 0-0 at the end of the first quarter. Neither team can score. 7-0. So it really is coming down to defense so far. 49ers taking control of this game. 21. Now it's 21 to 18. Back and forth game at the end. Jacksonville ties it up. And we'll go to overtime. And it's going to be in overtime. Jacksonville wins it all. So this video of imperialism will end with Jacksonville winning it all here and taking control of this video. That was an absolute crazy ending in the end here. As Jacksonville just dominates throughout the whole entire thing. And just finishes it off. Hang on. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Um, I'm just going to do it like that. And then I'm going to do that. And then there's one spot right here. But this is what the map looks like at the end. As Jacksonville takes over. Trevor Lawrence just getting paid crazy money. And also winning this video. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.